Hey guys, first of all, thank you for clicking on my video. So this is the second part of my i3 configuration uh, video series. And in this second part, I'm going to talk about how did I customize my i3 window manager appearance. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that you are going to do is to make sure that your GTK and your Qt or Qt divs are uh, set up properly. And mm, if you haven't uh, do it yet, so if you installed i3 on top of your other desktop environment, like you are using GNOME or KDE before you install i3, then most of the time your dim are already or are already set but if you installed i3 uh, from scratch or you are using that install then your dim uh, is not set yet and you need to set it up so to set your gtk uh, dim you can use lx appearance this is the application here lx appearance so you can set your uh, customize look and feel you can set a dim here and set a phone here and then also don't forget to set the icon dim your cursor if you want to your phone setting and stuff like that and for QT dims you can just install the system settings from uh, from the KDE plasma like this you set it up and don't forget to install the GTK uh, uh, the GTK add-on here so you can set the GTK dim here too for your QT application and you can just uninstall it after you have done with that so you set this up here and then you just uninstall the application if you don't, if you don't need it but if you already have other desktop environment then you can set it up in your other desktop environment and then your uh, GTK and QT dim will be uh, done and you will uh, you can use it on your i3 so what you set here in your GTK and Qt dims are uh, are the thing inside the application like this this color here the widget style these buttons and stuff like that but you will also need to modify your windows so <coughs> uh, this is the window border so this is title bar and then there is the border here and then the window title here they are not set by your QT dims or your GTK dim but this is being handled by the window manager which is uh, i3 what we are using now is the window i3 window manager right so to set this up uh, you're going to modify your i3 configuration and in i3 there are six kinds of window uh, or container type here so uh, this is the state of your container client focused client focus inactive you can just read the uh, the explanation here so each of this uh, container type here has its own color by default and you have you can change that to your liking and you need to ne uh, you need to set the color in order so this is the color order so basically what I did here uh, is like this so I don't set all of them I just set four four of them here client focus client unfocused focus inactive and urgent uh, I'm not going to explain to you what these container are doing but that is basically uh, very well explained here all right <coughs> so in order to remember you uh, the order I made a command on top of these lines so there are uh, so I will remember that and if you look at here there are only four colors or oh, sorry five colors all right so they have added this this was not here before and this is the new option and i thought 
this wasn't here but now I know that they have uh, edited this uh, i3 guide user guide so this is the new thing guys so if you look uh, some configuration file on online you you uh, we will have you will see some some people haven't used this yet or they are not setting this up yet because this is new so decoration border or child border they call here is uh, the border outside here so this outside border if I open up another terminal you can see this black uh, thin line this is uh, this is what they call the decoration border by default if you don't set this up it will just use the border color here right and to make things easier for me to change later I use the I set the variables for all the colors on another separate part so uh, I said like uh, I set my border color to this color here and then set these things up and uh, the reason for me to do this is because it will be easier for me if I want to change the color I can just change it here and I don't need to change like here here and here and here it's so complicated if I didn't do this right so if, for example I can set it to material dims color design colors and then vertex Maya colors and then if I don't want to use this color and I want to use this color I can just uncomment this one and I command this one uh, uh, sorry, I uncomment this one and I command this one, right? So that's what I am doing here, and then I set the font to use uh, Ubuntu font, and then uh, this one here, awesome. This is uh, this is the font awesome. Uh, you can look it up here, font awesome. Uh, this is basically. Uh, to get me this icon on top of my workspace here so I can uh, you can see this there is an icon here if you didn't use if you don't use uh, I uh, phone awesome then it will just show you some weird weird shit here it will not so a uh, nice icon like this and this is the uh, these are the icons that uh, phone awesome supports there are a lot and you can just choose it here all right you can just uh, google it how to do that all right and then the next thing that you need to do is to set up your i3 bar here so uh, this is called i3 bar and this uh, output here are called i3 uh, uh, i3 command i3 bar command uh, status command sorry uh, it's called status command and I'm using i3 blocks for this by default it is using i3 status but i3 blocks is an uh, improved of i3 status but it is not officially supported by i3 and you can just look it up here so what this does is uh, it has more options for you to customize and there are a lot of scripts here provided for you to modify so what I did here is I use this I changed the status command to use i3 blocks and then this uh, slash c is the uh, is the option of i3 blocks to uh, s to use your custom script or your custom configuration file so my custom configuration file is inside my i3 and i3 block dot configuration in my home folder and you can just uh, uh, look it up in my github page I will link it in the description below I'm not going to explain this there are some scripts that I use to, to display this one here this line here and tray output mon right so mon right is my mo uh, right monitor I set it here in my right end here so I set mon right to use my uh, monitor uh, right monitor and one left to use my left monitor and then I just set this in my one right so my tray output is my, my right monitor alright 
and then I also use Von Bango and using awesome in this bar here so that I can see these icons and position top by default it is in the bottom the, so by default this i3 status was on the bottom and I move it up and strip workspace numbers so by default your uh, workspace will look like uh, workspace 1 and the name is Fim and I don't want to show the number 1 there so I use this and then it will not show me any number here so just show me Fim here alright and the bar to customize the color in the bar you make another function inside this bar function remember don't don't uh, close this bar and put it outside it so it has to be inside this bar function and then you open it up and then you put in here so the background like I said here I already set a background color so I can use the background to use the background color too so it will match my theme here and then the separator this is, is the separator inside the i3 blocks and there are three kinds of workspaces status so focus workspace and inactive workspace urgent workspace and uh, the syntax is uh, just like here but there are only three colors for you to set the border color the background color and the text color right and that's it for the bar and the next thing that I do here is I use row V instead of D menu so this is row V here it looks nicer than D menu and you can run command here and the command that I use to uh, start row V is here so I use uh, my super key engrave to execute my row fee and then uh, alt tab to show uh, the row fee show window mode and to customize your row fee uh, you can do it in your x resources your dot x resources in your home folder so this is the code for Rofi and to, to make to customize Rofi it's really simple you just go into this link here I will post it in the description below uh, so this will be the output of your Rofi color uh, your Rofi configuration that you can pass into your X resources and you can set it here so it will show you in real time what have been changed and like this then you just set another one like this and set it like this and then you can just copy the, the output of the uh, of the gym dim generator and post it in your X resource file all right and the next thing is the compositor so I'm using Compton as my compositor so I started up using Compton slash B and so Compton slash B is uh, to start Compton in diamond mode and the Com Compton will use the whatever uh, whatever uh, you have put inside your uh, dot config dot uh, and quantum dot conf folder like this so it's inside your uh, dot uh, your home folder dot config compton dot con and you can just this is actually not needed guys uh, by the full compton already has a very nice options uh, settings but uh, the default settings already good but if you want to do it just like me I have a lot of uh, windows opacity rule so that my terminal here is opacity right so this is the code and also my tunar oops sorry my tunar is also opacity here so uh, this is how you do it 
so you can also blur, blur the background excluding your dock and desktop and other stuffs mm, you, you can just uh, learn this one here this is uh, really hard to learn Compton is the one that struggled me uh, the much uh, the most I have like uh, spent three days or two days just to make these configuration files right and the next thing is uh, the notification so uh, so this is the notification in my i3 my i3 window manager and I'm using uh, this alright I'm using this one here D U N S T R I don't know how to spell this one here <laughs> D U N S T as my notification diamond so uh, to set it up you just make a file inside your home folder conf .config D U N S T and make a file name it D U N S R C D U N S T R C and this is the thing that you can set yeah this one is actually not really hard you can just do it like uh, here it is already a lot just uh, type in the help command and it will show you a lot of things that you can set all right So um, by default, uh, this file is already inside your user share folder. I don't know where, but uh, you can just Google it, and you just copy that file and modify it to your liking, like change the phones, changing the uh, the color and the and transparency and stuffs, and then you're good to go. It is very well commented, so it's not really hard to configure that. Alright, I think that's all. Oh yeah, and I have used this i3 uh, XFC panel, and uh, in this XFC panel, mm, I have Dogbar Dogbar X installed, and uh, I'm just using this separator and Dogbar X to make it like this, and I also make this. In, uh, to be 100% uh, transparent and the DUN uh, uh, and the Docker X to be also transparent and this is how it looks like and all right uh, and also to start the XFC panel don't forget to disable WM check so it will not check your window manager so uh, it will I notice it's faster to have this uh, option there because uh, if you don't do this then it will check if you're using XFC XFWM and if not then they are being very slow right so having this setup here is faster the XFC panel spawn up, spawning And I think that's all. I hope I have covered everything up here. And yeah, guys, I think I'm done. Thank you for watching and like this video if you like this. And uh, subscribe if you want more videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> have a nice day, guys.